I love mathematics because it's abstract, elegant, and also unarguable. It's a very dense and coincise way of representing pretty much whatever you want. My name is Mattia and uh, I'm 30 years old. I come from Italy. I'm doing a postdoc in Applied Mathematics at Harvard, studying chaotic systems. I try to develop mathematical models to understand and even perhaps predict the complexity of these systems. A chaotic system is a system where we know the principles that are driving the system, but the behavior of the system is very complex. We got um, very interesting results in, uh, in a problem related to search and rescue operation. Whenever there are people that are falling in water at an uncertain location and time, there is a time window where the rescue is possible. And these time windows are very short, are basically six hours. The question is where should the Coast Guard know where to go and look for people? we try to ask the following. Imagine that now you have the ocean surface velocity. Where are the structures where things that are floating on the surface are gonna get attracted to? That is actually a, basically a set of curves that are the most attracting curves in this ocean. All of a sudden, if we know where are these surfaces that attract people, we can immediately go and rescue the people. So this is an example of how coherent features that are derived from rigorous mathematics can uncover organizing uh, patterns in chaotic systems and why these are important. I love the, the night because, first of all, it's quiet. Also because it's dark and I think darkness is uh, something that um, triggers imagination. Somehow, in that environment, I feel myself more comfortable, something which I cannot really describe in words. During my PhD, I was working on chaotic systems in fluids. Now I try to pivot and pitch into biology. The complexity actually is even higher because we don't even know the system to begin with. At the beginning of our life, we are just made of a single cell, and then this cell is going to divide, and then all of a sudden this bunch of many cells, uh, thousands and millions of cells, they start basically moving a lot. And uh, understanding when and where these structures that shape that motion appear is what, I, what I'm trying to discover. Once we know that that phenomenon is happening in a specific region at a specific time, all of a sudden we can try to understand and ask why is that happening. And therefore, not only understanding, but also predicting or correcting some pathological diseases, for instance. A pessimist sees difficulties in every problem, that an optimist sees an opportunity in every difficulty. So whenever there is an art problem to solve that at the beginning seems impossible, we have just to look at that problem from a specific point of view. Out there in the world there are many people that really need and are missing very basic things. If I can help people solving an important problem uh, that can really benefit society from a scientific point of view, 
In that case, I would really consider myself accomplished uh, in my life.